Welcome to the Libatious Podcast. We're your hosts. I'm Ashley. And I'm Kaylin. Enjoy. Enjoy. We gotta figure out a way to connect this with that. Yeah, that would be perfect. Then we don't really have to uh, sync or anything. anything like that. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be a whole when we have everything completely non when it's a uh, not temporary setup mm-hmm. when it's like a full setup mm-hmm. and it's just designated for that. Yeah. Or I guess when we set up and do batches. Yeah. Like a whole recording day. We can, Which we can we're gonna have to do for all like all these wedding things. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We could probably do it this weekend. Do a batch, mm-hmm. a big batch. We should. I gotta do some. I gotta get some extra planning going on. But luckily, the internet is never uh, without um, content. Right. We're just stealing all of our content from the internet. Kind of. And we're not. We're not. We're not even gonna um, pretend that we're not. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, but, oh, speaking of the internet, this is our little corner of the internet. Uh, thanks for wandering on in. We're, uh, this is the Libatious Podcast. Um, if that's... I'm Ashley. I'm Kaylin. And, uh, we're a married couple who tries a, uh, new drink oh, every found, single episode. Let me sound more excited. I'm Ashley. I'm Kaylin. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I sounded. Yeah. Uh, listen I switch it up yeah switch it up should we try to be each other's personalities one oh, episode no. you know Gotta, my social batteries are like always at a one being you it's is it too intense that's too intense for you it would drain after one sentence it would drain yes. oh well well then we'll one day one day we'll uh we'll figure that out okay tell us what you think uh podcast listeners um but also, if you're watching, you might have noticed. Actually, I don't think it's in the camera. We have these little. We have these pink drinks. Oh yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh Take wait. A- also, how was the quality? Um, last episode. Oh yeah. So, I could tell. Camera quality. The camera quality. I. I mean, it's supposed to be better, but I messed up thinking that putting the sharpness level up was going to be a good I- a good idea but it just kind of made everything like super shiny and we were sweating so like you can see the glare off of our like <laughs> noses every time i smiled there would be like, it was trying to like sharpen everything so it like made like dark holes in my teeth or something i i couldn't even tell it just always kept on looking and then i wore i wore a shirt that had a bunch of designs on it and it, it was, was freaking yeah, too it much. was freaking out uh but, but besides that, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean the file's bigger when I <laughs> when I'm editing, so that's a thing. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to be like 4K. Um, I can tell. I can definitely tell when I look at the uh, clips that we do. It's a different, a big difference. Yeah, which is great. Which is great. Uh, mm-hmm. So slowly, slowly but surely, we're getting there. After what two years, three years, right? Uh, three years. Three. We started in 2020 beginning of 2020 i'll never forget because this is the first year we've actually like consistently yeah serious yeah that's true but uh, no life hiccups with no no life hiccups it was a lot of deaths like and almost death experience knock on knock on like all the wood uh yeah it's uh there was a lot i mean anyway anyway these drinks these pink drinks um they are called drunk (laughs) bunnies uh, found it on Pinterest, uh, where we find a lot of our drinks. Sorry, I was uh, to find it's my just spot. Uh, Malibu. Oh, you can't even see it in the in the camera. Yes, you can. Well, you don't have to see. They don't have to look at the bottle. Oh, the best part about this camera is that it has a it flips, so I can actually see the framing of everything. So, if uh, it's all, it's my fault if we're out of frame because I'm not. I wasn't paying enough attention. But uh, drunk bunny. It's Malibu, and it's supposed to be pink lemonade. I couldn't find pink lemonade at the store that I went to, so I got uh, some strawberry lemonade. 
but it's still pink. So I say that's a win for me. Uh, anyway, it looks like there's... Oh, no, okay. It's just a shadow. To our health and healthy habits. Interesting. It's all right. Yeah. I forgot... I, I really haven't drank Malibu since, like, before we got together. Like, I think I had, like, a really dusty thing of Malibu mm -hmm. in my apartment because uh, I would just try new drinks every once in a while. Yeah, I remember we just went to the liquor store. Like, I, I, I miss getting just a random bottle just to try. Yes. Like, I like we agreed to never do that. <laughs> right, no, I just, we just, I just always, we have, like, a plan every time we go to the liquor store, like, we got to go back in. We got to go in with a mindset of just like, okay, so let's just go get something that looks cool. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. Do what um, uh, everybody who designed all those packages, like, get, let them put their work in. Mm -hmm. So it was like, oh, that package, or that, that bottle looks good. Let's go grab it. That kind of thing. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite designs of a bottle ever um, is called, uh, it's a dark rum. It's called Kraken. And it's got like it looks like this little like this jug, and it has these little circle uh, handles on the side. It mm -hmm. looks like if you would think of like an old timey like rum for from like pirates, like pirate rum. Mm -hmm. That that's the that's the thing. I'll have to I'll look it up. I'll put it. I'll put a picture up for for the listener or for the the viewers. And for but, me, because uh, I don't know what you're talking about. And I'll I'll put it <laughs> anyway. Anyway. It's uh, that's a really cool one, and we're we should uh we should definitely make some drinks with with Kraken because that's that's uh one of my favorites. I didn't uh, know that. Um, that was that was definitely a college uh college Kalen drink. What's what's new What's new in our lives? You might ask us, uh, faithful listener slash viewer. I don't think I have to specify. <laughs> every time. Oh yeah, followers. followers yeah. What do we call we? At one point, you were, uh, no, don't say we. You were trying to make up a name. Well, I was brainstorming with you. Mm. We called. We said libators or something like that. I'm pretty sure every name that was brought up with you. Yeah, well, you thought of, and I was like, eh. Well, I thought of libationites. Is that is that not a that that sounds too culty or something? It's just libationite. The it's just cringy. I don't know why. Okay, well, we'll just call. You know how you know how people who play video games are called gamers. We don't have to have. We'll call you guys drinkers. What's up, drinkers? We don't have to have <laughs> our type like our podcast name in like what we call our listeners. Yeah, and I also listen, I listen to podcasts like they call their listeners kitty gang, like kitty gang. Yeah. Okay. I feel like actually. <laughs> I always think of, for some reason, like, my, like, demographic mindset in my head mm -hmm. is, like, people our age are, like, slightly younger mm -hmm. for whatever reason, even though, like, when I see that, like, I look at the stats all the time because I'm a stat man. I'm a stat man. Be ba 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 da ba. Anyway. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, you look at it and. I look at them and it's, like, there's a lot, there's a big portion, or like, around our age, but mm -hmm. then there's also. Which I'm guessing it's like our parents and like mm, your aunt probably. Cause my mom doesn't listen anymore. Uh, how dare! I know, right? I guess that means we can say whatever we want, yeah. you know, right? Mm -hmm. About your parents. You're never gonna be a grandma. <laughs> We're not having any kids. No. <laughs> That's the one, this is the one thing that she listens to. <laughs> mm -hmm. How dare! Yeah, the demographics. I just think of um, we're talking to. That's why I always say, "Okay, kids," uh, but. Anyone who's drinking of drinking age in America is still like is just uh, like seven years younger than us at the yeah. at the most. Still kids. Yeah, but yeah still kids. Me. I mean, yeah, it's crazy. Like when you think of a twenty-one-year-old, I, I always shit together. I always thought that I was like grown. Like every time I got to like a milestone, like mm -hmm. an age milestone in, uh, you're like, oh, I'm in society. I'm you're like, like yeah, like how grown I thought I was when I was in like sixth grade. Mm -hmm. Cause I was, cause I, that was the top uh, grade in my elementary school. So they were like, I was like sixth grader. I'm like, 
I Same. am. But also as a fifth grader, I was like, oh, the sixth graders are so are so adult and mm-hmm. grown. And then you get to and then you get to the humbling of going to a school and you're the youngest again. That's they, there should be more things like that uh, in society. I feel mm-hmm. like like what would that be for adults? What? What do you mean? I guess maybe like first time you go into a bar you're freshly 21 you're like you're like fo- what's it called a fish out of water yeah, you're fish like out of water yeah exactly that's what like, do you want you're like right that's uh, the humbling uh, the humbling the experience <laughs> right exactly can i see your drink menu they know you're like oh no right. they're not from here right just go up to a bartender and say one beer please <laughs> right um but yeah i guess that's the like the next thing and then there's i guess if you join like a club with older people people in it i guess but it's not nothing's the same as going from being the oldest in your class to being the youngest again yeah like that was a big thing in uh because i thought i was i thought i was uh mr cool guy mr cool i thought i was the i mean shit you, were, you got in, cool uh, again in college because you, you turned 21 for all your friends that i mean i was cool because like, i was i was cool because i could get them me. something yeah exactly but no when i first when I first moved into college, mm-hmm. I just I had just turned nineteen, mm-hmm. and I was like, I was like, oh, I'm adult. I know what to do. And then I looked at what I was wearing, uh, the, like the first day in college. I was going through old pictures. I guess I have to put this picture up. It's embarrassing now, but <laughs> I had like I had a Batman hat on, oh, no. like a Superman T-shirt on. Oh, no. It was it was not a vibe. It was not the vibe. I got a lot better at dressing uh, mm. after I got with you. Cause you're the fashion person. I'm just like, these things I try. are, these are themed like superheroes. <laughs> yeah. Let me wear these. Right. I'm like, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, I know. It's just, oh, speaking of, I, I always wore uh, sweaters even when it was like 90 degrees out. Sweaters. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sweater, like I, I was always, I was better at dressing when it's colder out because i know how to layer Mm -hmm. stuff but as soon as it gets to be like summer i'm like i don't know what to i don't know what to wear i'm just like i just have to wear shorts and a short sleeve but i always wanted to like layer in the summer also Mm -hmm. which doesn't make any sense because it's hot right uh but speaking of embarrassing things of my uh of my past and i want to put this on the podcast so we actually do it I uh, recently just found my iPod Nano, or my parents, I think, found it, Mm -hmm. and they gave it to me. It has on the back, happy 14th birthday, Kaylin, like that whole thing. Uh, And I was scrolling through all the, all the picture, all all the, uh, all the music on there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just want to do, we're just going to do one big video, and I don't know if we can put this on YouTube or anything, because copyright, obviously. But the when i tell you the randomness the assortment and i'm so upset that i paid 99 cents for all these because (laughs) because i never used any of the uh i i was like scared of like downloading downloading illegal yeah yeah. like i knew of limewire yeah oh i me and my mom were obsessed with limewire yeah did you get that news yeah but i never and i never did that and also my parents were very against me listening to anything that had any cursing in it Mm -hmm. and they would do random audits of my (laughs) uh of my ipod when we were like when i was listening to music in the car they're like here they would give me an aux an aux cord and be like let's listen to what you're listening to and i so i was like i can't I can't have anything explicit mm. until I move out, and I had to wait four more years. <laughs> uh, but I just so we're gonna get an aux cord, and we're gonna plug my uh, plug my. Um, you can do it on our libacious TikTok. Yeah, we'll put it on TikTok. Yeah, because I think they're they're not as, as strict. Much, yeah, uh, worried about copyright songs. Yeah, but uh, there's there's some random ones. I mean. There's some, there's some nice, there's like Michael Jackson, like I, I would, I would download, uh, all the CDs that I liked of my parents. So we got a Jackson 25, uh, album on there, mm-hmm. but then there's like a German song on there that I can't re- Oh, wait, what was it? It was, no, we'll just, we'll just have to do it. We'll just have to actually do it. But I'm just, the idea is that we're going to be putting my, my 14 year old, ipod nano on shuffle and just see what we get 
we'll see what That'll we get. Be a good one. And it's gonna be super embarrassing. And my taste in music has not changed. I like I'm looking through all that kind of stuff, and I'm like, okay, well, maybe it's sophisticated a little bit, but it's still just as random. Like, yeah. I'll, I'll just listen to whatever. But yeah, that's 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 gonna be in the works. I don't know if anybody's interested in that uh, other than me. I'll j- I'll just let you know now. There's a lot of there's a lot of weird songs. It's just a lot of random weird songs that I was like, this is funny. I'm gonna listen to this. This matches all the time. Oh, your drinks. My Duncan. Yeah, your Duncan. Your passion fruit. Mm-hmm. That would be. I bet passion fruit would be good with Malibu. Maybe. Passion fruit guava. Mm. Um, pineapple mango guava. Mm. Um. Oh yeah, all the like Malibu stuff. I was like trying to look up other drinks and mm. with Malibu, it's all like pineapple. Like you just, it's all pineapple juice. I'm like, okay. Tell me, tell me you're supposed well to be a, a tropical drink Where without, without telling me. Um, One part. But speaking, Malibu, two part but speaking of drunk bunnies, let's talk about my uncle's wedding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, oh, there was there were a couple people who got drunk, but I don't. Most most everybody was just like just chilling. Yeah. Uh, but people the, who got drunk were the people who um brought in yeah bottles. Oh my god! So uh, my cousin um he. <laughs> He showed up and he had like he they just had like a did they have even have ice in there? No, they brought I, no they were kept asking for ice. Oh, they were asking. I was scared for to ice. ask for ice. Okay, yeah. So he had he had this. Uh, they just had like short glasses of uh, a clear liquid mm-hmm. with some ice in it, and uh, and he, he was said like, it was a splash of something with it, and I was <laughs> like. He, I think he said he put like a splash of like cranberry or something like yeah, that. Yeah, and you were like, you sniffed it, right? Or no, you had no, a sip. No, I, I, I took a sip of it. I was like, this is all tequila. Yeah. This is all tequila. Uh, and he had like two of those. Then he wasn't he at one he point. He gave he gave me a crown royal. Yeah, that's crown, right. Crowning, crooking, crooking, crooking crown. Crooking crown. <laughs> crooking crown. Crooking crown. Delicious. Um, yeah. You hadn't had you haven't had crown in a long time, yeah, right? Since like four years. Since since uh the trump well, traumatic event that my happened. favorite one i haven't had i think i've had it like a sip of coke and crown mm. here and there but yeah but uh he definitely was having a great time yeah it was fun um it was fun um i got thrown off by the wobble because my aunt and my uh cousin do the i guess is that the proper way to do no. the wobble it's just, or it's just like a little extra flair. Yeah, that's what Ashley does. Rita does. Remember, that's why I don't do it yeah, with them. But they do yeah. the extra spin. I'm like, yeah, I no. So, so if you're familiar with the the wobble, the dance uh, that they play at every wedding, uh, at least every wedding that I've been to. And I remember uh, wedding every event. Every event, yeah, it's a group dance thing. You know, like the cha cha slide or um, the uh, electric slide. The electric slide, um, but the wobble. Uh, there's this part, there's this part where, uh, you can, you kind of like are leaning to the side or something like that like before you turn doing this or whatever. Yeah. You're like, but like they spin in between but those, they, but they like spin backwards and then spin back to the, like where they were and then they turn and it, it was just throwing me off so much. And I was like, this is my song. I was like, so ready for it. Mm-hmm. And then they, and then they, they did their they extra stuff. And I was, like, I, was I was like, like, oh, like, oh you were so like, you, like, you were like two beats behind. I can't do the modified version. <laughs> I was like thinking too much about it. I'm just embarrassing myself at all these weddings. <laughs> God damn. I can't, I gotta <laughs> just sit next wedding we go to. I'm just sitting in the corner, not even doing anything. I'll be like, there he is. Uh, you guys go dance. The wobble uh, is fun. The wobble, right? Um, but no, it was it was good. We got to um, meet my uncle's uh, wife. She's a very lovely lady. Mm-hmm. She's very. Uh, it was it was wild because she went. They went to um, breakfast with us, and she was like, "They talked me into." T- uh, she was supposed to be off that whole weekend and up until Tuesday, mm-hmm. but she was like, "She's a nurse. she's a nurse," mm-hmm. um, and she also works at a um, like old folks home. Yeah. Was it? retirement uh, retirement home and the er yeah and uh she was like i got talked into working on monday i was like after the, the day after your wedding you're gonna go right. into work and absolutely not absolutely not what do we we took off two days after the wedding or just 
that Monday. Two days, and I think like a week later, we went to yeah Milwaukee. Just but we should have just went to like Florida for like two days. Yeah, that would have been great. We should have, could have, would have. Mm-hmm. There's so many things. We we'll just we'll just do a a redo. I think we redo. do a redo. Yeah, because we can get our honeymoon, so we can do our honeymoon eventually. Mm-hmm. Once we get some customers rolling in, we still got to go to uh, San Antonio. That's mm-hmm. that's where we were trying to go. Customers. Uh, we'll we'll let you guys know a little bit later about the customer thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're we're shrouding it in mystery on purpose. That's uh, it's just to pull pull you in. You mm-hmm. got to ask us personally. If you know us personally, send us a, a message like, "What are these customer things?" And then we'll we'll let you know. Right. But uh, if you don't know us personally, mind still, your business. You mind, <laughs> mind your business. First off, mind your business. But also maybe. Still, still send con- us something. <laughs> still yeah. contact us. Still contact us. We'll still we'll talk to you. Maybe it depends. You gotta you gotta have a good first impression though, because yeah. we I am not a internet talking to people on the internet person. Yeah, no. Uh, There's some creepers out there. Yes, and I just I I excuse me. In the in the world of Kalen, it's guilty until proven innocent on especially on the internet. I'm like yeah. I I don't know you. I don't know you, but we could be friends. But I don't know you. Uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, I did get. I actually brought up a uh, um, a Reddit story um, about a wedding because wedding season. Wedding season, and also we had just been on a wedding, and I like talk talking about the the first uh, spice. Was that the first spice cake that we did? Uh, uh, the wedding? I think so. The wedding um, one? That one or I think it was the second one. Yeah, that one was wild. And uh, I'm like... I want to update. Everything, right? Well, the update was that he gave her like $50,000, right? Yeah, but I'm saying I wonder if there's another... Oh, yeah. I mean... I did, I did follow it. I still... I don't know how... If anybody knows how Reddit uh, following uh, like threads on Reddit works, I don't get any updates on all on all my stuff. I'm like, oh, okay, follow that one, follow that one, follow that one, unless it's like the person only people are only responding like the like next like few hours, mm-hmm. and then it's like a dead thread. Yeah. But I'm like, come on, tell me more, tell me more, tell, tell me more. more. That's a messed up song from Greece. Uh, anyway. Just the did she put up a fight yeah, part? I'm just like, like, oh god. <laughs> you, the guys like, what? Did they, they, they? They did call him out on yeah, that, right? Like, yeah, they're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what the? F- did she put up a fight? That, and they, but they're all like, like, what are you? Yeah, that guy. That he's guy, the he one was that a creep. really doesn't get he, any, any girl. Yeah, he was a creep. He, he is that is that the he's uh, a peeping Tom? Yeah, before incels were a thing, he was an incel. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, let's talk about, let's do a little spice cake. It's a... Spice, spice, spice cake. Spice, spice, spice cake. Spice, spice, spice cake. Spice, it's spice, a... Spice cake. You know what it's called? You know what it... You know what it is? I don't get why it doesn't flip. Yeah, I don't know either. I hate it. Um, This is an Am I the Asshole. So, uh, guys, get ready. Am I the Asshole? We're going we're gonna to go to more... I. I started uh, reading people's uh, stuff in like malicious compliance, mm-hmm. and I love those stories. So I might, I you might read, do that. You read a few of those, haven't we? Uh, I don't think not malicious compliance. We did the true off my chest. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that no. was that was one. Um, oh, that was the one that we were saying we were trying to figure out. Uh, I think that was one of our first spice cakes when, mm-hmm. when uh, it was um, yeah. You can go back and listen to it. Mm-hmm. Uh. But, okay, here it is. Am I the asshole for not allowing alcohol at my wedding and not telling people why? So, we just talked about our the wedding that we went to that had alcohol. Um, and now here's the flip side. I guess, yeah, true. Not everybody has alcohol at their weddings. But mm-hmm. wh- what fun is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that somebody's an asshole for not providing alcohol, though. Uh, until I read this. They might be an asshole. Uh I, 20, uh, 28 female, am marrying my fiancé, James Lawrence, uh, 25 <laughs> male, in September 
uh, in September. Uh, we sent the invites out in January and made no, no mention of the fact that we won't be serving alcohol at the wedding, but we won't. We will only be serving non-alcoholic options, and there won't be any available for people, for people to, people to buy at the bar. Okay, that's. I think that's a typo. Oh, bar is in quotes, so it's not even a real bar. I am a reco- recovering alcoholic. Okay. Okay. Well. well the, the, cut it there. Right. Like, don't. If you're a recovering alcoholic, then okay. Uh, sober, sober four years and seven months. But if I'm out socially and a discussion about having alcohol comes up, I always lie and tell people I'm seriously intolerant to alcohol and it makes me very sick. I just don't want people to know about my sobriety. It's none of their business. Yes. But don't uh, be ashamed of it. You. Yeah, that's true. Four, I mean, four years of being clean. Yeah, true. It's. I feel like the physical or I, I mean i'm not a recovering alcoholic so i don't actually know but it's like i feel like there's the physical part of it mm-hmm. but then the mental part of it definitely takes a lot longer to like heal from yeah. that so i get that uh but um it's none of their business uh only my best friends and immediate family know and my fiance of course or obviously uh, James's birthday was in early April, and we rented the room above a pub. Yep, big fun of the re- for the recovering alcoholic, as you might imagine, as you can imagine, to celebrate. Convos about our wedding came up, and I don't remember exactly how I ended up talking to a group of not so close friends, more James's friends than and my acquaintances about the wedding. I said I was going to be an al- it was going to be an alcohol free wedding. Uh, they were pretty incredulous. Uh, especially as James's birthday was not alcohol free. Oh yeah, okay. They asked why, and I said I was I wasn't giving a reason. There's just no alcohol. They asked if I was pregnant. I said no. I just don't want alcohol at my wedding. I was called a buzzkill, and told and told that people go go to a, uh, go to weddings to drink. That it's polite to put money behind the bar for your guests, particularly if they were. Um, they yeah. are, if they are evening guests, it ended up in this big debate about drinking at, uh, drinking at weddings. One of our much closer friends joined the convo and asked why I didn't just tell them all why I don't drink, uh, why I don't drink. Oh my God. I need to get better at reading. I'm, I'm going to start practicing guys. I'm, I'm, I'm practicing. <laughs> uh, I said, I said it was none of their business. Uh, pretty rudely to be honest but i was getting pissed off at this point uh what is it one of james's friends said being honest about it was the least i could do and it was wrong of me not to at least explain myself one of them also made a fairly unpleasant joke at the ex- at my expense basically suggesting i'm the ball and chain now for james uh, I took myself out out of the conversation because I was upset, but I don't think I owe anyone an explanation despite what they say. Am I the asshole? So, I don't think... Oh, yeah, and then there's an edit. A few people uh, have brought this up, so I thought I'd address it. We didn't put it in on the invites because BYOB isn't really a thing here with these kinds of venues, so we figured people won't. If they do, I can't stop them drinking drinking it but i'd rather they didn't however if we put that it's a dry wedding more people will try and bring their own and because we've told the venue there's no alcohol we have to pay a very steep corkage fee corkage fee okay if people bring it and the venue staff notice so Mm. we'd have to pay a considerable amount if someone was really obvious about it and we know drunk people aren't (laughs) aren't great at secrecy uh yes Okay. All of my comments are being downloaded, so I guess I know how this judgment will go. So I'm not sure if people will see the comment below on this, but I think I'm just going to mass email our guests telling the truth. It makes me feel awful to tell people I'm an alcoholic, but then I can say that it's a dry wedding and ask them not to bring alcohol. Then the bandage is off and they'll judge me. And if they judge me, they judge me. That's probably better than lying anymore. Uh, seeing as the line never made much sense anyway. Okay, so the end of the day, it's I think yeah, it's up to them 
it's up to her mm-hmm. to tell anybody because it, it obviously is uh it's her wedding her wedding yeah but i i don't know like i've never hopefully they wouldn't be offended if people left early though right because exactly. i know i know a lot of people when they're drinking at a wedding they'll stay later mm-hmm but like usually, a lot of the times when it's like it's a dry wedding, they're like, "Okay, we came and did yeah, all the stuff, ate and the then dinner. They're like, gone at six, like mm-hmm. that kind of thing." So it's like it's one of those things. So if she's like, "Well, we're ha- we're dancing until 11. some people don't dance unless they've had at least a couple drinks, yeah, that kind of true. thing. So, so it's true. like if it was like, which, and obviously, uh, a great w- reason not to have alcohol around you because if you're a recovering alcoholic, like any kind of any kind of temptation especially in heightened emotions Mm -hmm. as in uh, at your wedding uh can definitely be compromising and you don't want to compromise your four years like almost five years uh but yeah i don't think i don't think she's the like maybe no no it's uh, it's her choice like i was gonna say maybe the re like the fact that she just was like no i don't want to tell you because it's none of your business yeah it's not it's not their business but also she should have been like like it's personal due to personal reason yeah why i don't want alcohol right, not you just say like personal reason because i don't want to yeah i'm just not gonna tell you that kind of mm-hmm. thing like if you tell people it's a personal reason mm-hmm. i think most people understand some mm-hmm. people are nosy like that though and they'll be mm-hmm. like i need to i need you to tell me exactly why there's not going to be any alcohol at your wedding or else I'm not going. You're I'm like, like, okay, bye. Don't it's come. Like, well, do we didn't need someone like you at the wedding anyway? Exactly. But yeah, no. I, okay. Um, consensus, not the asshole. Could have done a better mm-hmm. job. Can like, but also she said it was like acquaintances, more of James's James Lawrence's. Uh, <laughs> yeah. His friends. Uh, friends, there's so many Jameses out there. Uh, can you imagine if that was like connected? Our last, our last uh, spice cake was just like, oh, this is his. No, because he was married. And he was about to have a kid. He was married, yeah. But it could have been another James Lawrence in the family. Right. There's like fi- right? there's fifty of them, right? <laughs> right. Um, James, is that you? James, Hame. Um, but yeah, that's a that's a that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Like, how do we, I mean, we obviously are a little bit biased about um, alcohol because right. we literally have a podcast about drinking. Mm-hmm. Um, and, yeah, we don't pretend that we're like, we. But we'll be yeah. open about it if someone's like, why don't you want. Yeah. Yeah, alcohol exactly. Alcohol at the wedding. Yeah. Like, well, blah, 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 I had a drinking problem. Mm-hmm. And there were this many years clean Mm -hmm. well that's a that's also another like that's a tight a tight rope that uh especially like if you have family members that are alcoholic Mm -hmm. like that kind of thing inviting a family member to a wedding and you have like an open bar Mm -hmm. that's a that's a fine line i I wonder if like how those discussions go yeah like if it's not you it's like somebody that everybody's kind of known that they they were bad when they were drinking but they've been sober but then you literally have an open bar it's like right there in front of them Mm -hmm. i guess it's more of a family thing like all right family keep keep them accountable we trust them Mm -hmm. but if you see them going up to the bar make sure it's only for water right (laughs) that kind of thing because i i get that like especially everything i know i'm i'm glad that i haven't been to a wedding where like uh it's like all those weddings like on online where it's like oh this person was real upset for some reason and like they crashed the, like they started just throwing stuff oh and, like, yeah the dramatic getting, ones like, yeah like the belligerent yeah. people at the parties mm-hmm. but uh like even getting a little belligerent is okay i think at a wedding as long as it's not it doesn't turn violent yeah uh, i mean but, as long as you stay to the point you can like walk yeah exactly you're good but uh and talk <laughs> but yeah not everybody needs alcohol at their weddings yeah no. especially if it's going to be like a really small one and right. it's something that you i mean alcohol is expensive too every time you like our our bar package was like half of like it was a big portion yeah, of what we paid it wasn't even 
premium. Yeah, it was just uh, beer and wine, right? Yeah. And it still was like a big chunk of what, mm-hmm. like what we did, but it was important to us. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah. But no, it's, you're not the asshole. You're not the asshole. Anyway, moving on. Um, we haven't, we never, we haven't talked about this, and I don't know if I should, if we, we should even like bring it up. What? Because it's been so long. The this thing. Oh. I mean, I mean, it's funny. It is funny. Okay, on a on an aside, it's on it's in our notes. It's been in our it's been in our notes for months. Uh, yeah, for like at least four episodes, but we just haven't gotten to. I it think it's been longer, but and uh, it's really it. There's really no way to transition into this, but uh, it. I think it's funny. So what was it? We were just doing like dishes or something like that. I was, were, like, I was watching, scrolling through TikTok, yeah. and this person I don't even follow. She was on live, and she was like. Uh, yeah yeah she, I don't know. she kept saying yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and mm-hmm. then she was like what was it if anything is possible yeah. why hasn't it all been done yeah she and she was like yeah yeah they heard like <laughs> like answer herself <laughs> my my favorite thing there's also i think there's another subreddit where it's like uh uh too deep or like something like that like or it just says this is deep and it's just a bunch of like kids who like thought they had an original idea or something mm-hmm. like that. And I feel like this is one of those who's like, she's like, well, yeah, everybody says anything's possible, but why isn't it already done if, yeah. it, if everything's possible? I'm like, I, I get where your mind is going there, but it's like... It's not going where <laughs> it needs to go. You, you need to take the take the thought a little bit further. Right. <laughs> Just think about Did it a little bit sentence? more. Right. <laughs> think about it a little bit more there. It's just it was just so funny. Uh, anyway, that's that that's that little story. Yeah, that was that um, little thing. Oh, but also, <laughs> so thinking of uh, ideas, um, I had this idea that I also want to put on the on the podcast because I'm probably not I'm not a showrunner. I'm not somebody who like can make a show, but who knows? Maybe one day I will. Uh, but I had a game show idea, and it's kind of dark. Um. But that's my sense of humor. It's dark sense of humor. But uh, I think I, t- I told you about this the other day. Mm. Uh, the game show I'm uh, suggesting is I, I'm calling it uh, Prepper versus Pro- Poverty. Prepper versus Poverty. Mm-hmm. So uh, I, I had this idea because I was just thinking about, like, all the different ways, like, all the, like, ways that you can, like, survive but not spend money. Mm-hmm. Uh like like anybody who had who's had to like work who struggled or, yeah who struggled has had to do but then there's also all the people who are like all the preppers who are like the world's gonna end we're gonna uh we're gonna have our bunker we're gonna have all this stuff but it's like you know how much money you're spending on all that kind of stuff mm-hmm. it's like but like if somebody had to like was just had to survive they knew how to like just get into a house and just live there for mm-hmm. a little bit that kind of thing i'm like how do we there's a game show where it's like somebody who grew up impoverished or a prepper but you don't tell nobody tells uh tells you what they are and that's the game show that's mm-hmm. the game show it's like they put them into these extreme situations and they're like okay figure it out it's like the naked and afraid kind of thing but it's like how did you learn how to how did you learn how to do this did you learn it through books where you're like the apocalypse is gonna happen so learn how to do it or did you right. live it that kind of thing uh so would you watch that i don't know but <laughs> i definitely would watch it i think it would be fun um, it would be interesting. It'd be definitely interesting. Uh, I would have to go. I'm, I'm gonna have to talk to the HBO uh, executives. Uh, they'll 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 know how you to like. Number. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, I'll talk to a- Adam Sandler. He 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 does weird projects like this too, right? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, um, that was just. I just wanted to put that out there so uh, we all can uh, petition. We'll put it. We'll put it into a tweet. Elon <clears throat> Musk will. Uh, will pick it up. I probably won't get paid, because somebody's just gonna take the idea. Mm-hmm. But that's a free one. That's for you. No, it's not. Just kidding. Pay me. Right. We so have it, it. We have it. We have it. Uh, recorded, recorded right now, and we can take this clip, and we can put it up there, and then we can be like, "Hey, 
He had the idea first. This mm-hmm. guy. Anyway. You guys want to hear another <laughs> spice cake? Uh, it's another Am I the Asshole. I thought I just found this one this morning. I thought it would be fun. Am I the Asshole for prioritizing my dog over someone else's baby? All right. Well, it's starting off strong. Uh, I, 43 male, was at the park with my 10-pound dog for Alaskan Kleekai. Never heard of that. K-L-E-E-K-A-I. Okay, Kleekai. On a sunny but hot, uh, <laughs> wow, they're getting into detail, 77 uh, Fahrenheit, probably, I guess, Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit. Uh, day, a unfortunate feature of this small park is that it offers only one shaded area roughly 10 foot by 10 foot thanks to a lone tree no surprise when we arrived at the park someone was in the shaded area already i have a small outdoor ventilated about 36 inches in diameter crate that i use to try to offer some protection so rather than crowd the people there too much i set up my own stuff a few feet away put the crate with my dog away from me closer to the people that were there i didn't want to encroach on their space myself is this making sense to you i feel like it's a lot of detail that I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like i'm like wait what's i'm getting lost right now uh but in turn wanted to clear that i was waiting to let the dog use the shade oh he wanted to be clear that he was waiting to okay he's so okay there's a lot of detail. Basically, he showed up to the showed up to the park. He had a dog crate for his dog, and he was waiting waiting with his dog in the crate so he could go into the shade with him. I'm confused as to why he brought his dog dog to yeah. the park just to sit in the in the shade. Yeah, I don't know. I guess just to be outside. I guess maybe maybe he lives in a, like an apartment. They don't get a lot of out, outside time or something. Uh, as a small northern breed from Alaska, heat is something that I pay particular attention to. Yep. Okay, roughly 45 minutes later, the people there are getting ready to leave. I take my earbuds out and start getting ready to move the dog crate over. As the people are about to leave, a woman walks over with her baby and stands right next to them. <laughs> I look at her a bit incredulous, incredulously. Another another person using incredulous. Uh, but she's ignoring me. At this of point, course. Yeah, at this point, it becomes clear to me what she's trying to do. Once the people leave, I proceed to move the crate over anyway even though the woman was is standing there. At that point, uh, she finally acknowledges us, uh, but all she says is, really, with a very annoyed tone, <laughs> as if to say, how dare you? Mm-hmm. Uh, I explain to her that I've been waiting a long time. She cuts me off and says, but I have a baby. <laughs> I responded by offering to share, but she clearly wasn't interested. At this point, she uh, has waved her partner over as if to say, come quickly, her plan seems to involve me not being there at all. He comes over. Uh, they talk between each other again as if I don't exist. He turns around, gives me one of those, you're an asshole, look. <laughs> then they both walk away. All in all, nothing incre- incredibly serious. But it did make me wonder, am I am I really the asshole? Uh, okay, so I thought this was going to be like his dog attacked the, right. like attacked a baby. And then he was like, I'm not putting, her, I'm not putting my dog down. Even though, like, everybody's uh, telling which also... They're both the assholes, and, like, she had a baby. Like, I was, like, he was waiting, so she's the asshole trying to ignore him. How is this she the only... Saw, yeah. She saw that he was there. That's why she purposely, igno- like, wouldn't look at him. Right. Yeah. And she Everybody thought, knows what you're doing. Right. And she's, like, and you're going to try to, like, s- sneak your way into the spot. Right. right. You get, you're getting close to another group, so you can just immediately... Right. That's the people who, like whip into the parking spot mm-hmm. even though and they, they won't s- look at you right even though they see you sitting there with your with mm-hmm. your uh and they take forever to on. get out their car yeah because they know mm-hmm. <laughs> all those assholes yeah but that's that's funny he's part okay. of sh- he's Those's- also a jerk because you know a baby mm-hmm. but also not the jerk not the asshole because yeah babies don't need outside as much as dogs i'm just kidding because he was already waiting Mm-hmm. So they're both. It's like a fifty-fifty type of thing, you know what I mean? He, he offered take, to share too, right? Like which is uh, ten feet by ten feet, and I don't know what a clique high is. Let me. I'm gonna look that up right away because I I really want to get like a an so, image in my head. I don't know, but I don't know how. To, I don't know. What do you think? Both. I think he in a way. Well, 
honestly, Alaskan Kleekai. Oh, is that just a husky? It looks just like a husky. Looks like Zeus. Yeah. Is it? Is that just what we call huskies? I guess it looks. It looks a little bit like a mix between like a husky and um, like one of those Sheba Sheba dogs. Mm-hmm. Like uh. Yeah, a little bit. But it definitely looks like a husky. Yeah, that one looks more like a Sheba. Um, but anyway. Interesting. And it's ten pounds. It's a tiny dog. It doesn't need that much space. Right. You can't hang out. Like, it's a park also. Like, sometimes you're going to have to get close to people. Exactly. You didn't mind getting close to people when they were moving. Right. Right. Yeah. So, I don't think... I don't think he's the asshole. I think sometimes human interaction is is weird and nuanced. And (laughs) I've said this before. But, like, literally, it's a... uh, I guess they left. They did something. They went somewhere else. Yeah. So... In the end, he won. He she won thought she was gonna bully her way because she had a baby. That's not how it works. Right. That's that's another thing though, because I get upset when people are just like they think having a baby is a free pass yeah, for everything. Trump, yeah, Trump's attitude. And uh, it's like no, I have a baby. Okay, right? you, like, you don't have to be a bitch. It's like all right, yeah, like exactly. I mean, I'll always I'll always stand up for like somebody. Like if I'm on the train or anything mm-hmm. like that, like I'll stand up. But if somebody's being really entitled. Mm-hmm. about about it then i might not stand up mm-hmm. like, they're looking if, at you they're like yeah like if somebody like singles me out to like while they're holding their baby and they're like looking at me mm-hmm. i'm like if i hadn't stood up already i might reconsider that because right. i just i hate that yeah when people are yeah it's like look i have a baby you look free free stuff for me just everything mm-hmm. i'm like you're gonna be you're teaching this child all the wrong things right, right now it's like you're just making another jerk like you <laughs> right now by teaching you like luckily this is a baby and they're not gonna hopefully absorb better this. Than you. Hopefully you fix yourself before they start learning stuff from you. Right. But but that's whenever I see uh, a parent that's a jerk, I'm just like, Oh man, this poor child. Right. I'm like, What what did they do? Uh anyway. We gotta we gotta wrap it up. We got mm-hmm. stuff to do today. Uh but I hope this was a uh a uh, pretty good episode uh like we said if you want to learn more about this customer thing uh message us mm-hmm. send us a little dm um we don't really use we don't really use uh twitter too much but we're on instagram, instagram a lot yeah. so you can dm us on instagram except for that dog person who sent me a thing saying we love your dog and i'm like i don't have a dog right what pictures do you see yeah, like a dog? They're, yeah they're like we love your dog uh we would love to uh collab with you i'm like i don't <laughs> okay know your audience at first right. first did you even look at my profile right they didn't even look at the profile i was like it's all snippets uh right. anyway this has been the libatious podcast i hope you had a libatious time can we can we start that can that be a thing libatious time having a having a libatious, libatious time yeah there we go I, I did something yeah that's good please like rate and subscribe we are on all the podcast platforms right yes yes um share with friends and family all your favorite ones at least yeah all your favorite podcast platforms yes um share with your friends and family and we will talk to you next time bye <laughs>